I'm just waiting to see what the NBA rules on this. It'll probably come later today, how they decide to you know, adjudicate all this. Because there's a couple of different ways you can go. Number one, you have to look at Jokic and put aside the fact that it was Matt Ishbia. 99 times out of 100, if you see a player interact with a fan in the yes. way Jokic did, some kind of suspension is coming. Now, there were mitigating circumstances. You had Matt Ishbia seem to make contact first. It was Matt Ishbia, the owner of the Suns, who kind of held onto the ball a little bit too long. Not kind of. He flat out, like I was saying at the top of the show, like if if he was back on the Spartan bench, the, the possession arrow would have yeah. been pointing in the direction of the Suns. But, you know, I it, mean. It, it, I can tell you this, and and this goes back, go back a little bit further to take it to zoom out a bit. Mm -hmm. When Draymond Green got suspended, most of it was because of the stomp that he did to Domas Sabonis. But part of it was how he incited the crowd afterwards. That was taken into account yes. when the NBA made its decision. Adam Silver was sitting right there in Sacramento watching the whole thing, and Draymond was shouting at the crowd, interacting with the crowd. The biggest fear in the league office is a repeat of the Malice in the Palace. Get it. Like, that is on the mind of everyone mm -hmm. over there when you have crowd interaction. So the fact that Jokic elbowed someone, putting aside that it's dispute, the fact that he elbowed someone in the crowd, I think there's going to be a lot of conversation today in Olympic Tower in New York about how to punish him. I, my gut is find something like nothing that takes Jokic out of the game. They can't. But this is going to be a tough call, Rich. I'm telling you, it's going to be a very tough one. And I understand that, that, that for, you know, he even admitted he, it was a fan. Like he didn't know it was the son's mm -hmm. owner, uh, governor. Um, and so, so it doesn't matter. Just the whole concept is that somebody in street clothes was there mm -hmm. and received an elbow from him and and you can't make contact with that but his point is right like you know uh Ishbia's right hand was on his small of his back and then he held on to the basketball which is something, still still not but reason that, but that's but that's but he's trying to get the game going again he's situationally in the moment of the game where he's going to grab the ball from the fan hand it to the official and see if he can get a five on four break going right here. The, instead, the, I look I get his argument I understand what, what he's yes. trying to say um even if he had grabbed the ball, the referee still has to hold it. And the referee's not restarting play until Josh Akogi is like functional and away from yes. the crowd. So the, yes. it wouldn't have been a five on four break. Um, I, I thought it, it, it would have been more explainable if there was a Nuggets player that had fallen to the crowd. If Jokic is going in there trying to protect yes. his teammate, I think that would have worked more in his favor. But the fact that he just wanted to get the possession going again. And as part of that, he elbowed someone in the crowd. It's just not a good look. It's not a good look for Nikola Jokic. And I'm telling you, there are going to be, there are going to be people inside the league office that are pro suspension when they have this discussion. Suspension would be game five in a series. This close would be where they've needed him. Wow. Would, I'll be honest. Suspension would be unacceptable. That's the Frankly, way I, I thought the, and I understand and I totally understand. Look, I, I, you know, I've been an NFL employee for 20 years. So I understand the way a league and league management looks at things when it involves a fan or con the NFL doesn't have fan contact issues pretty much because fans are in the stands. This is a sport where there are fans who are truly one step away from having somebody sitting in their lap. I totally understand the malice in the palace. I get it. You cannot suspend Jokic. And I understand that he made contact with a fan. Fine him if you want. But then my question is, is what do they do about Ishbia? He can't hold on to the basketball like he owns it. Like, uh, come on. You know, and, and I know he's new to the league, but he's not new to basketball. Let me ask you this. Would a suspension for Nikola Jokic be more outrageous to you than the suspension to Draymond Green? A million percent. I'm not sure it would be that much more outrageous. Why? Because he elbowed someone in the crowd. And let's say that wasn't Matt Ishbia. Let's say that's a intoxicated fan of the God. Phoenix Suns yeah. who takes an elbow and comes back and throws a haymaker at Nikola Jokic. What, like, the fact that it didn't lead to a uglier incident, yes. I don't think that that makes it any better. I actually think I actually would be less outraged by a Jokic suspension than I was over Draymond. I came out right away and said a suspension is outrageous. Sabonis grabbed his leg. Yes. Draymond stomped on him kind of like it wasn't, you know, I thought Grant Williams got stomped on a lot worse by Joel Embiid. But mm -hmm. I think that a Jokic suspension to me 
would be less outrageous than what happened to Draymond. Really? Yes. Even though he touched Jokic first? But let's be clear on touching him. He didn't shove Jokic, right? Like, put his hand on him a little bit, shouldn't have held onto the basketball. He didn't initiate an altercation with Jokic. I know, look, we're dissecting this we are, yeah. a day after, and we're not in agreement on, on how it all played out. This happened split second, right? And Jokic just responded, threw a bit of an elbow there. Uh, I think Jokic overreacted in that moment. I do. Well, I, 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 I think we can all be in an agreement that what Ishbia tweeted out on Monday he had morning. had to tweet that. <laughs> no, I know he had to tweet it, but him saying, like, you know, there's nothing to see here. This shouldn't be a story. Man, come on. I'm sorry. I mean, he held onto a basketball in the middle of a heated moment, and, you know, he did receive an elbow to his upper chest or his neck area. That, Flopped a little bit afterwards. Well, I mean, and that also, we, TJ and I were talking about that, too, that if, you're, if you ever have, like, the just – to def, you know, defend the moment here. If you ever have like the the uh, a folding chair seat right behind the mm. back of your knees, you you can easily lose your balance. Right. And I've never been shoved by somebody of Jokic's size. Mm -hmm. um, but that said, what adds to the moment is that if you do believe he flopped, it made it seem like the owner was trying to sell the moment to the officials to maybe get something either the tech or something worse. On Jokic in well, the he was because it wasn't just the fall. He threw his hands up in the air right afterwards in kind of a Draymond exaggeration. So a, a governor of the NBA should not be doing that. No. So don't you think a, a fine or, or something yes. should be coming in his direction? Absolutely. As well? okay. and, that, and Matt Ishbia, if he does get fined, would, you know, pull that out of the you know, seat cushions <laughs> of his <laughs> office. The bigger question coming into this is, does yeah. the NBA allow Nikola Jokic to elbow someone in the crowd no they uh, and i uh, i would understand why a a, a a fine would come it's just come on suspending Look, him for I, game I hope, five like like this is like, i hope i'm really, wrong really the pivotal game five you know like because game fives are either decisive or or pivotal you know like this is pivotal this man. is going to be you remember how the draymond announcement came out i think it was late friday evening mm -hmm. now normally these announcements come out afternoon like during business hours yes, in the sir. league office because there's unanimity oftentimes on how things get adjudicated um this could be the same type of situation where whatever punishment is announced whether it's a fine upgraded to a flagrant foul another technical attitude whatever they decide to do i could see this happening later in the day on monday uh because i think there will be a lot of discussion in the league office about how to handle this Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.